the Colonial Parkway murders families are absolutely furious about the go slow approach here. Bill Thomas, a podcaster, advocate, and brother of Colonial Parkway murder victim Kathy Thomas, says there are mixed emotions about a recent break in a sprawling investigation spanning across the state of Virginia. Over a three-year period in the 1980s, four double homicides on or near the Colonial Parkway targeted young couples in their vehicles. That 22-mile road connects historic Jamestown, Williamsburg, and Yorktown. All four cases remained unsolved until last week yep. when families were thrilled to learn the murders of David Nobling and Robin Edwards, along with that of a third woman, Teresa Howell, are forensically linked to Alan Wade Wilmer Sr., a fisherman and hunter who died in 2017. But the victim's families point out that Wilmer and his distinctive blue truck were in the case file for several decades because of a tip connecting him to a different case where there is not DNA. I heard what we call the driveway story, which is the two FBI agents rolling up on Alan Wade Wilmer Sr. in his driveway in Lancaster County four days after Keith Call and Cassandra Haley went missing. And he was engaged in highly suspicious behavior. This is what the FBI agents told my father in 1988. While two of the four cases known as the Colonial Parkway murders have not been linked to Wilmer, all of the families really want everyone to take a good look at these pictures of the man who was also known by the nickname Pokey. He stood only five foot five inches tall. Think hard about whether or not you knew him or did business with him. Think Popeye. He works on the water. He's got this really built upper torso from working on the water. His hands are very large and very calloused. They've been described to me. We reached out to Virginia State Police for an update on this case. They say since their news conference announcing Wilmer as a suspect, they've received about 50 tips. But investigators are still asking anyone with information about Wilmer. Maybe you farmed clams or oysters with him, docked your boat next to him in the northern neck, Hampton Roads or Peninsula areas, or maybe you hung out with him after work. Give the FBI a call at 1-800-CALL-FBI or you can remain anonymous by calling the Peninsula Crime Line. Free season, CBS 6 News.